good news. We got back from Monument Valley a few days ago, and I checked the queens. They're uh, in here doing well. This was the colony that we left at the trailer uh, with the queen cell in it. She'd gone on her mating flight, came back, and was laying eggs. And uh, the other colony, uh, we had moved that about 50 miles away from its original location. And uh, we have a good queen in there. She emerged from her cell, went on her mating flight successfully, and has got some brood in there. We're going to graft from these bees today. I'm going to use these for breeding stock. Queens look uh, good and healthy. Um, pleased about how the, the whole project's turning out so far. So we're going to raise a bunch of daughters from our Monument Valley Queens and then take those daughters back down, let them mate with the local population so we have another generation of purebred queens. Okay, I'm setting up a cell starter today. We're using a specialized frame that has some bars across the middle. These I can turn so when I've uh, grafted uh, and I've set up the cell cups uh, then I can turn them back down so they're going vertically inside the hive. Right? So uh, these are little plastic cups and I'm dipping it in some wax. I'll put that on the cell bar. These I'm reusing some of them. I recommend using new ones uh, but if you uh, do it right, they'll, they'll use uh, some that have been recycled. These are ones that the queen didn't develop in last time, and so we'll uh, clean them out. I'm going to put this frame of cell cups in a colony and let them polish them and let them clean them up, let them put their tongue all over them, and so it cleans them up and ready for a graft before a graft. You can get about 15 of them on one row. All right, I got my queen cups all uh, on line here. I'm going to put this back into a colony, not the cell starter, but a strong colony just to clean things up. And to get them primed to do this, here's some uh, honey syrup that I've been feeding bees. I'm just going to brush honey, sticky honey, all over this frame. I'm going to get it down inside the cups. That'll make it smell like the beehive instead of plastic and me and whatever else it's been in contact with uh, and then I think we'll get a little better acceptance when we graft the cells into these. So this will go back into a hive only for a couple hours. Don't put it in there for too long or else they'll start building comb off of these things. But this will get them primed to, to clean up the cells. Okay so it's uh, really hot dry weather today. It's as hot as the 4th of July today. That's because it's the 4th of July today. So I found a good way to keep the bees warm and moist and humid while I'm grafting. It may take me 20 minutes to graft and so I don't want the larva to dry out during that time. So I've got a middle bar frame with a sponge in it and I'll just get that sponge wet and put it in a small box. That'll keep the larva moist, keep them from drying out until I'm finished grafting and can get them transported back to the cell starter. Uh, the bees have polished and cleaned up the cell cups pretty good. If you leave them in there too long, they'll start drawing out comb around the rim of the cup. So we want them in there just a couple hours, which uh, looks like it's just right. These cell bars are screwed in, so I just turn them for ease of grafting and then turn them back when I'm done. Right, I've got my magnifying glasses and I have my grafting tool and I have my flashlight hat and I've got my overhead lights so just just these how I need it. Got my comb with larvae in it. Uh, you can take a guess on how old the larva is by the size of it. So if it's just the same size as an egg, then you know it's less than 24 hours old, which is the size you need in order to begin it on its way to a queen bee. If it's older than that, it won't make a good queen. So a little experience will tell you how old the larva is. There's a bunch of them here that are just the right size. I'll take my grafting tool reach down to the bottom of the cell, pick out a larva, 
if you can see that or not, I don't know. It's C-shaped, it's white and it's small, and I'm going to put it in a cell cup. And then I'll repeat that, about 15 cells on a bar, as quickly as I can. I don't want the bees away from the from the nurse bees for too long. Are we going? The difficulty I have in picking these up is the C-shape. If I pick it up by the back of the larva, then I can generally get it. If I pick it up in the open part of the C, then it doesn't want to work so well. When you pick up the larva, uh, you set it back down again in the same orientation, same side down, same side up as you took it out of the cell. Takes a little practice. You get the hang of it after you've done a number of them. You want to pick up a little bit of the royal jelly of the bee milk with it so it has something to eat for the next 30 minutes before you put it back with its nurses. That one I squished. Try a different one. As small as larva as you can see. Small as larva as there is is what you want. That larva there is way too big. That's probably two to three days. That one won't work. That's a better size. That's got to be less than 24 hours old. There's better ways to start out queen bees than grafting, but grafting makes it uh, doable for the beekeeper. So that's why we graft. Uh, we can get some good queens out of it. I've got the cells grafted. I'm going to put these back in here with the sponge. Put this back in the, with the breeder queen and we'll make a run for the cell starter with those before they've been away from their nurses for too long. I can tell by the bees behavior they're queenless. They're outside the box. They're crawling around. They're, they're buzzing around. They're not coming going like they usually do. There's about 30 cells in each one of these frames. We'll put them right next to each other so the bees can take the pollen and honey out of this frame. Right next to it is the frame with queen cells, frame with queen cells. Listen to the bees and look at the behavior now as soon as we've offered them those queen cells. They're nazanoving, they're crawling onto the frames. In just a matter of minutes, they'll be on there feeding those larvae. I'll make sure they have a nectar flow. One last thing for me to do now, we'll go back and mark on my queen calendar the day that we grafted, so we'll look ahead 10 days from now for the queen cells to be ripe and we'll be ready to put them in their mating nukes.